Well, the Quebec basketball team is on its way to Edmonton for the national championships in May. With four starters on the national team, Quebec is the favorite to win it all. Certainly nothing out of the ordinary except one thing. Here's Brian Wild. These players are so good, to watch them, there'd be no way to know there's anything different going on here. Only one thing sets them apart. It's quiet in here. My sight and language is it's not there yet. I still need to learn it, so I have an interpreter that helps me out. And basically what I do, I use my hands a lot. These talented players are deaf, yet try finding a moment when you can see that difficulty. Take 16-year-old Steve Okido, who hopes to follow American Lance Ulrich into the NBA. Oh, I'm very happy to see that, yes. You know, that a deaf person is a, an NBA player. Because a lot of people think that deaf people can't do anything. And so I look to him as a role model, and I think, now there's something I can do, too. Okido fled the Rwandan genocide when he was a child. At about the same time, the ASSQ started this basketball program. The success in game results is noteworthy. The success in spirits lifted, magic. Well, I'd like to go to the Worlds, and I'd like to travel and go to other countries, uh, see the United States, Europe, and the like. Yeah, I'd like to get out and about. I was very fast, so I like to play basketball. I have fun. It's a great program. It's very great program. Well, for now, the team is developing. As a team, we'll be going to the Canadian Deaf Championships. That's our first tournament. How are you going to do? I'm pretty confident we'll win. <laughs> yeah. And this Quebec team is very talented. Four members recently played for Canada at the World Championships in Italy. I came in with no expectations. I didn't know they were going to be this talented. And so it was a big surprise to see the talent that these players have. A former head coach in this program is now working for the Toronto Raptors, who have donated equipment. You can donate too at ASSQ.org because great things are happening right in our own backyard. Brian Wild, CTV Sports. And of course, it's Friday. It's